Dragon Man, Homo Longi. In 1933, amidst the construction of the Dongzhang Bridge in northern China, a local laborer stumbled upon an extraordinary find, a nearly perfectly preserved human skull hidden within the riverbank's layers of sediment. During that period, the city of Harbin, the skull's discovery site, was under Japanese occupation as part of the larger Manchukuo state. The laborer was probably aware of the skull's potential significance, owing to the excitement generated just a few years earlier by the discovery of another archaic human skull, known popularly as the Peking Man. Taking extreme care, the laborer concealed his remarkable find in an abandoned well, where it would lie undisturbed for almost nine decades. Even after the Soviets invaded Manchuria, the man kept his secret well guarded, worried that his previous work under Japanese rule could be scrutinized. It wasn't until his final moments that the laborer confided in his grandchildren about the ancient relic, still stashed in its secret hiding place. Intrigued, a family member retrieved the skull from the well in 2018. Later that year, a Chinese paleoanthropologist convinced the family to donate the artifact to Hebei GEO University for scientific research. Subsequent analysis revealed that the skull was at least 146,000 years old, dating back to the Middle Pleistocene period. Boasting a low, elongated shape, distinct brow ridges, wide eye sockets, and a large mouth, the skull exhibited an unusual blend of primitive and modern features, its facial structure strikingly resembling that of Homo sapiens. Experts speculate that the skull belonged to a physically robust male, roughly 50 years old at the time of his death. The broad nose suggests he was adapted to a high-energy lifestyle, capable of drawing in large volumes of air. Measuring an impressive 23 centimeters in length and over 15 centimeters in width, the skull's sheer size implies a capacity to withstand the harsh, frigid conditions of the region. More intriguingly, the skull has illuminated a new branch on the human family tree. It hints at a previously unknown ancestral group, closer to modern humans than even Neanderthals. Designated as Homo Longi, or Dragon Man in China, the discovery has ignited scientific debate. Ghost Ancestor Around 50,000 years ago, ancient humans in present-day West Africa were believed to have procreated with another previously unknown group of archaic humans. Scientists suspect this mysterious group's existence not through bones or fossils. Conditions in Africa's climate make such preservation rare, but through subtle hints in the DNA of today's West Africans. Researchers conducted a comprehensive genetic analysis involving hundreds of individuals from Nigeria and Sierra Leone. They found extraordinary traces of what they've dubbed ghost DNA, originating from an enigmatic ancestor not linked to either Neanderthals or Denisovans. This genetic mingling appears to have occurred roughly 50,000 years ago, coinciding with the period when Neanderthals were also interbreeding with modern humans in different parts of the globe. A team of population geneticists at the University of Utah explored eight different scenarios to understand how genes could have been distributed before and after such ancient interbreeding. Their findings indicate that both Neanderthals and Denisovans also cross paths and likely genes with this super-archaic population, which diverged from modern humans nearly two million years ago. Interestingly, the genetic mixing is presumed to have taken place outside Africa, suggesting that this enigmatic ghost ancestor was part of the earliest wave of hominids to venture out of Africa. This unknown group appears to have branched off from modern human ancestors even before the Neanderthals did. These revelations add new layers of complexity to our understanding of human evolution, complicating the story of how modern humans or Homo sapiens diverge from other human relatives. The fate of this ghost population remains a mystery. They could have died out or perhaps their lineage was fully absorbed into the human population over time. Red Deer Cave People In 1989, miners quarrying limestone in the Maladong Cave in southeast China made a remarkable discovery, a cache of curious fossils hidden deep within the cave. Yet, 
These remnants of ancient history went untouched until nearly two decades later in 2008. From Malodong and the adjacent Longlin Caves, researchers retrieved partial skulls and bone fragments of at least four Stone Age individuals. Carbon dating of charcoal found near the Longlin fossils suggested an age range between 14,300 and 11,500 years old. Interestingly, evidence suggests large deer were cooked in the Malodong Cave, which led to the Stone Age inhabitants being termed the Red Deer Cave People. Their skeletal remains present a perplexing blend of primitive and modern traits, astounding researchers. These people had jutting jaws, broad noses, prominent brows, large molar teeth, flat faces, and thick skulls. Their brain size was typical for the Ice Age era. Some scientists speculate these skulls might belong to a hybrid population of archaic and modern humans. However, a research team from the University of New South Wales in Australia postulates they represent a distinct evolutionary lineage. The coexistence of these people, up until around 11,000 years ago, alongside contemporaneous modern-looking Homo sapiens in nearby regions, adds weight to this theory, as a hybrid population would likely have been absorbed over time. Genetic comparisons of the skulls to present-day populations revealed striking ties to Native Americans and modern East Asians. Intriguingly, the closest genetic match is with a 13,900-year-old specimen from Siberia, the oldest human DNA identified in the Americas. This challenges the prevailing notion that the first humans to cross the Pacific had long been residents of Siberia. It's now believed this population may have settled in southern China for a considerable period before migrating north, possibly via a coastal route through Japan. The discovery of the Red Deer Cave People unveils a hitherto unknown chapter of human diversity in East Asia. It signifies that modern humans coexisted with at least one pre-modern species in mainland East Asia for tens of thousands of years. Denisovans In 2008, researchers from the Russian Academy of Sciences and other archaeologists from Russia explored a cave in the Altai Mountains of Siberia. There, they discovered the finger bone of a juvenile female hominin. By 2010, mitochondrial DNA extracted from this bone revealed that it was dated between 76,200 and 51,600 years old. Our knowledge about the Denisovans is limited with only a few physical remains, the finger bone, some teeth, and a piece of a skull. Thus, most insights about them derive from DNA analysis. Such evidence indicates that Denisovans had dark skin, eyes, and hair, resembling Neanderthal's build and facial features. Further specimens were found in the Baishia Karst Cave on the Tibetan Plateau and the Cobra Cave in the Annamite Mountains of Laos. It's believed they roamed Asia for tens of thousands of years, coexisting with early modern humans. Though we've identified Denisovan remains in just these three locales, the presence of Denisovan DNA in today's human population implies they once spread across East Asia, and perhaps even Western Eurasia. A recent study analyzing a vast DNA sample from present-day Southeast Asians proposes that there might have been three distinct Denisovan subgroups. Interestingly, one of these groups may have outlived the Neanderthals, who vanished around 40,000 years ago. It's also widely accepted that Denisovans interbred with early modern humans. The highest percentages of Denisovan DNA today can be found in Melanesians, Aboriginal Australians, and Filipino Negritos. This contribution indicates that they'd once established communities across Asia, the Philippines, New Guinea, and Australia. Hybridization with modern humans in New Guinea might have occurred as recently as 30,000 years ago. If accurate, some Denisovans could have existed as recently as 14,500 years ago. Hobbits, Homo luzonensis and Homo floresiensis. Deep in the Philippine jungle on the island of Luzon, fossils of teeth and bones from at least three individuals were uncovered in 2019. These remains belong to an ancient hominin species that inhabited the island roughly 50,000 years ago. These specimens are so distinct from other human species that they've been designated with a unique name, Homo luzonensis. In the limestone chambers of Kalau Cave, 
tools, and butchery marks on animal bones suggest these early humans were adept at hunting and tool making. Interestingly, the features of Homo lusanensis mirror several different species of hominids. Some of its teeth resemble early Homo species, while other aspects are more similar to Homo erectus. Roughly three to four feet tall, their diminutive stature, combined with their long, broad feet and features such as curved finger and toe bones, indicate an adaptation to a tree-climbing lifestyle. Furthermore, their small body size might be an evolutionary response to the constraints of their island environment, possibly due to the phenomenon of island dwarfism. Homo lucinensis bears resemblance to another diminutive human species, Homo floresiensis, colloquially termed the hobbit, due to its short stature. Found in the Langua Cave on the Indonesian island of Flores, Homo floresiensis also exhibited a complex mosaic of features. While its brain was about a third the size of modern humans, many of its skeletal features resemble Homo erectus. Stone tools, remnants of its prey, and signs of fire usage were found alongside, revealing sophisticated behaviors. Such unique features solidified the classification of both as distinct species. Their ancestors might have embarked on sea journeys, or were carried by natural events such as tsunamis to reach these islands, hinting at a prolonged, undisturbed habitation. The existence of these previously unknown hominin species, adapted to island environments, underscores the multifaceted nature of our evolutionary journey, challenging conventional beliefs. The temporal overlap between Homo floresiensis and modern humans indicates potential interactions, though direct evidence has yet to be found. <laughs>